Hey guys, it's phase one with the fourth episode of Mining to Refining. So from the last episode, what we left off is we we um, put in some more ore that we, um, I think it was Terranite, that um, we, we had processed. And um, where we left off, it was processing. And there was two others that I had in from previously. And they should all be now complete now. So what we're going to do is, so... We have a batch with Laranite and Agrisium and another batch with um, mainly Terranite and Vexalite. And then we have another batch with Terranite ma mainly. So what we're going to do is we're going to store all this into my MSR. And collect. I think it should give us an option to collect all of them all at once, you know what I mean? So I collect. So the amounts, the, the available space should be, should be updated. I didn't check the first time. So again, okay, it's not updating, but okay, it should all fit though. I don't think it's too much. Takes a while though. Takes a while to process it. Yeah, so in, in future updates, this process right here to transfer it to your to any given vehicle will take some time. As in as in real life, right? It takes time to actually um, move move items from one location to another. So it will take some time. It gives you an opportunity to do other things. Game while you wait. I don't know. Do I need to try this again? Okay, so it should all be in. It should all be in there now. So let's head out. What we're going to do is we're going to head over to. We're going to head over to um, Lorville to sell our refined oil. I'm curious to see how much we actually made. So, uh,. I'm guessing maybe 200,000, hopefully, at least. Hopefully 200,000. But we'll see. We'll see what we get. Yeah, so I made sure that the MSR is still is still stored. That way, it doesn't get recalled before I get there. So I made sure I did that. So it's always it's always advisable to leave whatever your cargo ship stored. That way, you don't run into any issues. And also remember, Armistice Zone don't really actually stop players from shooting anymore. So if your ship is still on the pad while you're storing, if somebody decides to ram it or shoot it down, that's your cargo, right? So you just got to consider that. So it's always safe to just store it. And then when you're ready to go, you just recall it out. Right, so let's recall. Okay. 
yellow doesn't actually go I thought it actually was like the same hue of yellow but it's still fine though I like I like the torso it's pretty cool I like the glowing lights and the glowing lights on the helmet as well here There we go. It's a lot. Okay. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of ore. I really like this man, all these buttons. Very cool. Obviously not all of them work right now, but it's it's very very cool though. Everything that you're gonna be able to do in your ship you're gonna you can just uh, switch the buttons. So we're heading to Lorville. Where is it? 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 Okay, I think I need better coolers, man. I actually haven't even started upgrading this ship. I need to upgrade the Q drive. I need to upgrade uh, my shields. So much things to do. But I'm not sure if I want to start upgrading or if I should just save up and buy another ship. Um, I think I want to get maybe either a saver or an eclipse. And maybe I should get another ship. I don't know. I'm not quite sure yet what I want to do, but it's nice to have just some things to work towards. like to get a nice external view. 
you see the bugs that we saw in the in the Vokati build? So that's a uh, one of the Lagrange points, and that's the cloud, uh, the cloud tech right there. It's a space cloud. So they gotta they gotta fix that because you shouldn't be able to see you shouldn't see it from this far out. Uh, somebody said it now. to use MSR because it's just so fast it's just so fast man. super fast for a, a ship of its size so you can get your cargo in and out quick that's why I'm using it that's why I'm using it all right so we're finally here we don't have to worry about 30 k's because we're in the location already so we are secured and one, one thing I noticed about the patch so far I haven't experienced a single 30k yet which is a good sign it's I like um, I see that they're improving on this and I cannot wait until a time where 30k's are non-existent you know what I mean when they have server mission going and they have some persistence with my cash going um, I think it's really once we get that um, I think that's when the game is really going to start to take off. I feel, I feel like once, once those two tech, um, once those two major pieces go, get in, that's when we're really going to start to see um, a lot of major things come into the game. And I feel that especially server meshing is, is a requirement, is a prerequisite for pyro. So. I think they're gonna push to get it out as soon as possible. Hopefully mid year. Hopefully by June of 2021 we get that. Um, I don't expect it to be the first uh, in the Q1 of 2021. So hopefully mid year next year we, we should get Pyro with some server meshing. And we already we're starting to notice the um, what do you call it? Persistence is improving as well, especially with the refinery deck. So it's um, I can I can see that they're incrementally adding persistence, and I did experience, um, especially in the PTU, I did notice that I crashed a lot. I 30k a lot, and I noticed that I always respawn back in my ship at the right location. Only one time I respawned um, in the middle of the solar system. But um, most of the time, I always respond back in the same location in the seat of my ship. So that's a good sign. The only thing that I need to test out is um, to see if my 30k weight cargo in my ship will the cargo still be there once I log back in. So that's. If if we can confirm that and it's working, then I think we're we're in good shape. So that's something that. Well, I kind of don't want to test it with um, valuable ore, and you can't really predict when the 30k is coming. So I don't know how that's gonna happen, but hopefully it's not quantanium <laughs> in my in my cargo holds. So I don't want to test with that. I just want to sell that. So hopefully. That all works out.
big Bahamas here. What a long trip, man. I, I kind of wish that we don't have to travel this far just to trade you know I feel like it's just too long of a trip so I have to come all the way out here to trade um, I think they should give us some type of terminal or maybe use our Moby glass once we land at the location then we can do trading here you know so I wonder how they're gonna balance that that way it's not so tedious coming all the way here so we're gonna sell so we're at six hundred and ninety eight thousand dollars thousand AUEC select this all right so let's start with aggressium 42k not bad so 698 okay let's see where we end up at I saw the, the, the most valuable ones here 42k Vexalite, okay. Not bad. Um, so I think the next one is learn. I think we'll go for 40. Seventy-six. That's the big boy. So that would probably bring us to nine hundred k. Nine hundred. So we made easy two hundred thousand over two hundred k. That's pretty good, man. So three runs, three, three mining runs. Um, plus the refining, making 300,000. That's not bad. Well, it's not, I wasn't as efficient as I could have been, and then it's not, it's not quantanium either, so. It's all good. Just sell the, the remaining. But that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's good money. Yeah, so 
safe to say it's around 200,000. It's good money. It's good money. I'm almost at a million. Um, when I first started this patch, I've been just mining. And I was at, I was around 300,000 AUEC, and now I'm almost at a million. So I've been making some decent money with uh, with mining and refining, and it's uh, I like it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? So if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if there's anything in this video that you like, make sure you leave a like as well. Let me know what you think about the kind of income that we just made. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. All right, I will see you on the next one.